Welcome again, this is Wesley. YouTube still one. And this is Wesley's news. The presentation is provided in the same Russian room of the same Russian house that he made his seven parts of the presentation before. Vasmus uses at this time crocodile clip to connect the wire to the grant wire. So there would be no doubt that the grant is only one wire and does not have anything on it. So after he connects 9 volt battery, as he usually does, which is pretty much Tariel Kapanaze fashion, he shows flickering of six light bulbs, presumably 100 watt per one. That would be 600 watts altogether. We can omit the light bulb that is a fluorescent one sitting on the top of the Tesla coil, as fluorescence is not something that we can't own. The Duxon wire properties is pure resistivity, and without heating an element, the dissipation of energy would not happen to the extent that we experience every day when we switch on light. Rasmus uses the clamp meter to show us that there is a electromagnetic field around that, which states about the presence of the high voltage and electrostatic one. It also shows that there is nothing that is going on on the ground wire. So when you look it further, you will see that it, when he brings up his tool to the ground wire, there would be no voltage on. From one hand, the four the further away we are from the source of the strong electrostatic field or the high voltage field, the more normal is operation of the clamp meter. So that would not necessarily be a proof. He also uh, later on will use the same rubber ring to show that there is no presence of the hidden wires. So the device definitely works. And the question is why? Here is some hint, some Wesley's theory based on Aruna's contribution and we both experienced that in the Lithuania experiment and I agree with Aruna's that's the way to go. The question is, is this the only one way to go? So imagine that you have a capacitor C and you don't have a coil that is next to it. Or we have a coil but a coil could be treated as a capacitor because coil has the capacitive component an inductive component, so that will be capacitive reactance of the coil. So let's treat it as a capacitor for a moment. It's connected to one side to the ground, and the other side is connected to the sinus and square signals. On the right-hand side of the top, you see square-shaped impulses, and you see the graph of the voltage versus time, with sinusoidal signal on it, and you see that we're giving very narrow square impulses only to the top of the sine wave, but never in the falling edge. So those square signals on very top represent DC voltage. So the microseconds or the milliseconds or the nanoseconds, whatever is the width of it, is the DC voltage on the top of the AC signal, which is the carrier for it. And uh, they interact as the DC part on very top of the amplitude with the electrons from the plant. The whole concept is that the speed of electrons flow from the ground based on the string theory is very slow. So it depends from the material that you have, for 20 centimeters length of the wire, the electrode could go as long as a few hours. So imagine that you have a horizontal line and you have a series of balls on it. And now you're touching the ball on the left and the information goes through the series of those balls to the right to the very end of the line. But the physical placement of the ball from the left to the end of the uh, line on the right takes a long time. So the smaller the ball it is, the longer time it requires to go there. Nature wants to go to balance. That's what we can observe everywhere. Whenever you put the electrostatic potential on the top of the C capacitor, the bottom of the capacitor wants to go to the balance. And then the electrons from the ground will be sucked 
and go to the lower plate. And again, the size of an electron, if we go from the nuclear physics, we may say that electron could act as a photon, but it could act as a mass particles. So let's say we stay with the mass particles. And as it is a mass particle, because it is so extremely small, before it goes to the plate, it takes hours, even for a short period of time. So now we'll try to speculate. What if we say that this is the mass, the mass was put in motion and it has a certain inertia. The purpose of the red narrow high voltage spur impulses is to request this balance, where you have a flow in motion. At the same time, on the lower part of the capacitor C, or lower plate of it, we have the flow that is trying to end the balance and balance the upper one. Those impulses of the square waves goes from the top. Before the balance is reached, the resonance circuit on the right hand side, which is the coil, the capacitor, and the light bulb, which is in resonance, that is very important. You cannot put two light bulbs, three light bulbs, four light bulbs. It's either one or either certain numbers, but that must be in resonance. So before we have a steady balance, we have something that says, hey, I see the voltage in here, so I see electromagnetic field, an electrostatic field as well. So I'm going to dissipate the energy. So the light bulb starts to dissipate that energy according to the sine wave that is the carrier for the square wave impulses. And then, because of dissipation of the energy, we have another demand that has to go from the ground. So it looks like the ground is essential. But do we have to have a ground? No, we don't. We could have artificial uh, plate serving as a ground. I mean, the plate would be physical plate on 77th floor of, let's say, World Trade Center 1. And then we have a device on it, and that plate would serve as a ground. Yes. We have it as a phenomenon pretty much known in the ground plane antenna. We have a counterpoise. And the plate I'm talking about is our ground. In a certain point on this video, look back. You see flickering on the light bulbs. What is happening is that the frequency of the sine wave is not 50 hertz. It's like a motion picture. If you have not enough of frame, you see frames, but you have more than 15 frames, you actually see the movie. You might see perfect movie at 24 frames. Are we talking about 50 hertz? So at 50 hertz, we're talking about light bulb. You wouldn't be able to see flickering any longer. Or well, just flicker would come, will come from the lack of stability of the carrier frequency. So one might say, well, if we have a disbalance and device is trying to get to the balance and then in the meantime the dissipation of the energy happened, so then there is again the lack of balance and need for the balance. So the energy goes from the ground up, but nothing is for free. How come we don't use part of the energy from the top of the capacitor that is equal to the part of energy from the bottom? Well, we have a moving mass. Imagine that you have 15 girls pushing the car from zero, after a few seconds, you need only two girls. And after a few seconds, you need one girl. And after a certain time, you need one finger of one girl to sustain the motion. So initial energy to start the car movement is already done. All we need just to sustain it. Now, if we add the balance of the light bulbs in it, again, we're dealing with the same situation. We have to have just a little energy to sustain the motion after the dissipation of energy by the light bulb. The equation will still stay the same. Now, do we have a known in here? Yes, we do. And I'm trying to find out how. For you to think about it, take the flying wheel. Do you need the energy that you use at the beginning of spinning the flying wheel? Or you need just a little energy just to sustain the losses after using certain speed. The faster it goes, the less energy for sustaining motion you need to add. Interesting is when you look at the psychology or reasoning of Vasquez. At first, he gave publicly his device for the scrutiny. Then when the scrutiny happened from the Russian guys, he deleted all of the videos. And of a sudden, he shows up again. So his ambition was not satisfied with the fact only of showing and then taking out. And now he is using a rubber ring 
or putting all together the device in one chunk of pieces, picking it up, and with the help of that rubber ring, showing that there are no hidden wires. Of course, I have a question. But at least for me, this device looked legit. And it did. Before. Typically to most of the people, and typically to Russian, Vasmus wants to show himself. Important. He wants people to know that he's got the device, and you don't. And he thinks that he's gonna probably make a money on it. He is emotional, which is good. But the thing is that so far he keeps himself pretty much unknown as for as family, address, origin. And that's what some Arabs doesn't like the most. They hate somebody they cannot control. But not only some of the Arabs. The Russian oil business, energy business, the American, everybody. They hate to do not know. So we'll see what's happened. Have a good one.